actions. So first of all, what is action is? So action is a part of an test QTP test. Whenever you open a new test in QTP, there will be a default action. That is action name one. Okay. QTP test refers to a step of set of steps that we run as a group. And action serves to provide the test script into multiple logical units or business flows. So by default, QTP records all steps of a business process into single action. First, I will go through the slides. Later, I will uh, show you through on the tour. By the time in your join. Okay. See, whenever you open the QTP, you know, that time there will be an action with the name action one by default. Here you can see in the screen. Whenever you open a new test in QTP, there will be an action defaulted with the name action one. Okay. The what is this action? Action is a where it's a placeholder where we can write a step set of steps to create a business flow. And each test in each test case in QTP consists of one or more actions. And the flow of the test case is determined by the order of the action calls. So what is for example if you are not clear just consider this example below. There is a flight application or Gmail application whatever you take there is a test case for you. So you have, the test case says that login into the application, send the mail, okay, and log out of the application. So this is one of the test, manual test case you have got. Okay. Now there will be another uh, test case which will have login into the Gmail application, uh, okay. Um, read the send mails and log out. Login into the Gmail application, okay. Another test case you take. Okay. Send a mail with attachment. Likewise, there will be a number of test cases for which some actions will be common. Okay. The test cases which I told for now, sending a mail, reading a mail, composing a mail, for all these, there is a common action included. What is this common action? The common action is login and logout. So, you, whenever you want to perform uh, sending a mail, reading a mail, or composing a word, uh, or sending an email with an attachment, the action which you want to perform inside the Gmail application, okay, those needs to have a login action and a logout action. So those become a generic actions for your test cases. In what what we can do here is we can create separate action for login action, and we can create a separate action for each and every action that we have to perform based on the test case. Either, either it is a reading email, either it is a composing email, or either it is a reading sent mails. Okay. And then generic function for logout. Okay. Now there are two types of actions are there. Based on usability, okay, based on the usability, we can we segregate the actions as reusable actions and non reusable actions. And based on the store actions is external action and internal action. We will see reusable action, non reusable action, and external actions. What are these? So reusable actions are nothing but whenever you create an action, there is an option to make it as a reusable action. If you make an action as a reusable action, that action can be used across any test in the QTP, across any test in the QTP. Non-reusable actions are those which cannot be used out any outside the particular test. Okay, that we will see practically when I open the QTP. And in external actions, External actions are those actions which are stored in the hard disk. Now I created a login action and saved it and kept it somewhere. So those are those will become a external actions. Those will be called from other actions. And internal action. 
what is this internal action action which is already open in front of you that is called as internal action okay here you see the definitions for each action reusable actions these are the actions that can be called multiple times by the same test in which it is told okay that can be called many times your same test or external test also and what are those non reusable actions these are the actions that can be called only once that too in the test where they are stored as i told and non reusable actions can't be called from the external actions okay these non reusable actions can't be called from the other test and what are these external actions with reference to the qtp test case an external action is the one which is stored in that some other test case okay which is which is stored in the some other test case see don't forget the a test case can have number of actions out of those actions some of uh, some actions can be made as reusable actions some actions can be made as non reusable actions so if you want to make it as an external action if you want to make it if you want to use an action from any test to be used by some other test that has to, that action has to be made as a reusable action if you do not make it as a reusable action then that action cannot be used to anywhere and there is a concept of data sheet okay we, whenever we open a qtp test we see two default sheets global and action global sheet and action sheet here you can see right global sheet and action sheet in the data table these are default as sheet that will be created whenever you create a new test in qtp okay and what is this global data sheet the global data sheet is the one which can be accessed by all action in the test case for example if you have a test case having three actions login create record and logout these three actions are there okay in which when when you load that test with a different three actions a three different action sheets will be created in the qtp okay three different actions will be created here in the data table with the respective name for example if you given the name as a, if you given an action name as login that this action name sheet will be changed as a login okay the global data sheet is the one which can be accessed by all all the actions in the test case each test case has only one global sheet global sheet is only one but action sheet changes according to your number of actions in the test the count of the action sheet increases the count of the action sheet increases as and you increase your actions in the test case or test script the name of the global data sheet is global so the data which is available inside the global sheet can can be used in a actions the data which is available in the global sheet can be used in actions but the data which is available in the action that can be used to particular that action only the action which is available in the action sheet will be applicable for only particular that action it, it cannot be used any other action a local data sheet is the one which can be accessed by it, it can be accessed only by one action as i told the sheet data which is available for an action for example if if i have data in this action sheet i have data in this action sheet action one sheet this sheet can be used only for this the act, this action one only for example now i created one more action this is action 2 if i have a data in action 1 the act that the data can be used for only action 1 script if you have the data in action 2 then that data can be used for the action 2 okay the action 1 data can't be used in action 2 and the action 2 data can't be used in action 1 however the global sheet data can be used across all the actions the global data can be used across all the actions okay in global script can it the global data can be used in global action action 1 action 2 okay 
the name of the lo local state is same as the name in the test what we are saying is the name of the action sheet will be same as the action name now here we can we have an option to change the name of this action how we can change the name of the action is right click on the pane okay go to actions select the action properties here we can change the name as in when we change the login name of the action that will be reflected here in the actions in the data table so that this means that the name of the local sheet is same as the action name in the test so and there are different ways of calling an action calling copy of an action calling an existing action what is what this copy of an action does what this calling copy of an action does so whenever we call an action whenever we call an action as copy of an action the original actually is copied in its entirety so what it means is it be copied its repository its data tables whatever it is in assigned in that action all will be copied in the current action okay if we make any changes to the copied action it will not affect the original action in any way okay now as a there is a login action we have now right there is a login action that we have to call in a some test case but in that login action the username and password is hard coded okay if i want to change those i want to i will be called and calling that action in new test case after calling that if i want to change the username and the password i can change by calling copy of an action by using a calling copy of an action i can change the username and the password of that action after calling it but only you, we can that can be modified only when you call it as a copy of an action and whatever if you make any changes to the code copy of an action that code reflect in the original action so we can call copy of action when we want to use the same action without some with some modification so when we make when we call an action as a copy of an action we can do the changes to the script and calling an existing action when we call an existing action that action will be called as a read only action there are an action there is an action okay this is a login or anything you take that action if you call it as an external action the action will be copied into the that action will come into the new test wherever you are calling that will come over there but there it will become as read only there you can modify the script there you can't modify the script at all and if you want to modify you have to modify the original script then you know, once you modify the original script that will get reflect here in the called action okay this action can only be modified in the test in which is created that is the original this will affect all the test wherever it is called and where and we have to be very careful when we are going to make change make the changes to the reusable actions or external actions why because if the same action is could have been used by you know, some other test cases if you make changes to the original action that will reflect across all the test cases which were used which are which the which test case which used this action this action we can call existing actions whenever we want to reuse the existing action without any modification whenever we call an exist external action as an existing action when an action is been called as an existing action okay that that time we can't we will be unable to modify the script okay now all these topics we will see practically now in qtp Okay.